Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here then welcome, my name's Chloe. So today's video is going to be a tutorial on this makeup look here, and for this look I've used the P. Louise Money Shop palette. I've just used the top part of the palette, which has got more of the sort of bright and um, foresty greens just here. I really wanted to do something quite Christmassy and green, like this does really remind me of sort of a, a Christmas tree, especially the lid colour. Um, and I, I just wanted to do a really nice sort of Christmassy look. Um, my inspiration has been lacking lately, but you know there are certain palettes that I pick up and I just instantly know what colours I want to use and you know something just comes to me and this palette it is one of those palettes so this is the look that I have come up with today. If you would like to see more of me, you can find me on TikTok, Twitter and Instagram under the same handle as my YouTube, which is Chloe KH with two E's. I'll pop that in the description box below for you, as well as all the makeup products that I've used on my face today that may not be mentioned in the video. I really hope that you guys enjoy watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel before you leave, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Hi guys, so all nice and zoomed in now. So I'm going to be taking the top section of the P. Louise Money Shop palette here and I'm going to start off with the darkest shade just here and this one is called Hollywood. So I've got a little bit of tape down here as a guide as I want a winged out eyeshadow shape today. And I'm just going to take my really tiny Morphe brush here and start by drawing a line just all the way up. and then join round. Then when I get to about here, I'm just going to dip it down and join it to the um, point up here. Okay, so once I've got that shape down, I'm going to take my next brush here. This one's from uh, Royal and Lang Nickel. This one's got nothing on it, and I'm just going to blend around that outside edge. Then I'm going to take this shade here called Onset. Royal and Lang Nickel brush, and I'm just going to pack all the way round, half on top, half um, not of that Hollywood shade. So it's the 10th of December today. I have only got one more week left at work before I'm on annual leave for Christmas and I can't wait. Um, Jake has worked extra this week so he can have next weekend off so we'll both finish on the Friday which is really nice as Jake was going to be working both the Saturday and the Sunday. I just can't wait for some time off. I haven't um, had any annual leave since August. Um, 
and I just can't wait to spend the week with Jake just feeling really Christmassy you know go to a Christmas market doing any sort of last minute shopping bits we want to there is um, a little Christmas market coming to Hereford um, so we'll check that out and then there's some sort of like um, Bastion Street feast type thing going on um, on um, I think it's next weekend so we're going to um, check that out as well okay so once that one's packed I'm going to take this uh, slightly thicker pencil brush just blend around the outside edge as I'm going in with quite a light uh, limey green shadow next same brush I'm going to take my next shade here called Your Moment and again sort of blending half on um, that onset shade Blending out further with my P. Louise 143 brush. Then I'm just going to sweep some of this audition shade all the way around. And this is more of a fluffy blend. Just to pull that lime green shadow out and lighten everything up. Then just jumping back into those shades to redefine everything. So the football's on tonight. It's um, England versus France. Um, Jake finishes work at half six and he loves to go around his mum's um, to watch the football with his mum and dad. Um, so he literally texts me saying, be ready, I'm gonna come by, pick you up, and we're gonna go to mum's and watch the football. Um, so, you know, at least I don't have to cook tonight. I bloody love Jake's mum's cooking. Whenever I know I'm going around there for food, I purposely don't eat as much throughout the day so I can just pick out when I get there and I, I won't feel guilty because she just does a massive feast. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that and to cuddling the dogs, have a nice cosy night there um, and I hope to God that England go through you can hear that, it's just my neighbours above. Um, Jake and I had nightmare neighbours from hell really um, before and then they moved out and a new couple came in and we thought oh okay they're younger, um, you know the last couple were really rude um, when we complained about the noise and you know they introduced themselves to us, they asked um, where the bins were, as the bins weren't out the front they've like moved all the way down the back so we share them with the flats behind um, and you know I was really friendly, um, they seemed really nice but they're really loud as well, um, I mean I was really conscious when they moved in and they were being loud because I thought oh god what are we like because I thought that we were quite quiet and um, but we bumped into our, our downstairs neighbours um and we said that we were sort of looking for a house and things like a couple of months ago and they said oh no um you've you've been the quietest sort of tenants in the flat above because they've been here quite a while so that was you know relief um that we weren't loud so I'm just I just get annoyed you know I like quiet when I'm filming um and late at night and you can just hear them sort of well I don't know if he's talking to somebody on the phone but he's bloody shouting okay I'm just going to go off camera now and cut my crease and then I'll be back okay crease is cut so I'm just going to take that um Hollywood shade and just blend in this outer corner I 
I'm not going to do too much with this outer corner as I'm going to put a big wing here but I'm just going to blend a few shades into the corner bit just up here where you'll see Okay, so for all over the lid, I'm going to take this shade here, just here, um, sort of like dark green called Walk of Fame. I've wanted to use this colour um, for so long and I just thought, well, it just looks like the colour of a Christmas tree. So let's do a Christmassy green dramatic makeup look. When I get to this outer corner bit, I'm just sort of blending back and forth really. Um, and I'll concentrate just up here between the matte shades. I'm going to put a big liner here. Okay, so I wanted to add a little bit more to the look. Um, so I took some of this shade here called Hard Cash, just with my finger, and pressed it over the top, and I really liked it. just gives a bit more depth to the shimmer in it and just so it doesn't appear so dark as well. Okay so I'm just going to take my liner now. Uh, I'm going to take my Benefit Roller Liner in black and just draw a wing. And I'm going to use the tape as the guide. Do a baby wing, you can do a big wing. Okay, so I've peeled the tape off, um, wiped any excess shadow away, and popped some of that Benefit Concealer underneath. Um, so let's do the under eyes. I'm going to take the Hollywood shade and just run that tightly against the lash line. And taking on set. And then your moment. And then I'm going to take more of that hard cash shade just for the inner corner. Okay, so I didn't want a really dark waterline, um, so I'm going to take the Jeffree Star Cosmetics liner. This one's in Money Counter. You could do an inner corner um, point to add to the wing, but I quite like seeing this Tinkerbelly um, green bright shade on the inner corner, so I'm going to leave it as that and put a nice full lash on. Um, so yeah, I am going to put some lashes on, do the rest of my base, and then I'll be back to show you the finished look. Hey guys, so this is the finished look here. I really hope that you've enjoyed watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel before you leave, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!